It's been 24 hours with Samsung's long-awaited One UI 7.0 official update. It's time to take a deeper look at everything that's new with Samsung's next-gen software that we're also going to see on the Galaxy S25. By the way, I saw the mention of the S25 within this One UI 7.0. So let's begin with the first thing you're gonna notice right off the bat when you first boot up the One UI 7.0, which is the brand new icons. and. These actually look a lot better now compared to when they were first leaked out. Like these are actually some nice set of icons. I love how the camera looks as well as the browser and even the gallery icon, which thank God it's not similar to how iOS gallery is. It is different. It's definitely different with Samsung's own flavor. Other than the icons, when we swipe down from the right, looking at the quick toggle area, you're gonna see a brand new look, which is very refreshing. Honestly, this is very very well done. On the top, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Then we have more quick toggles down below, which can be expanded as well. And then we have the sound slash brightness toggle, which is also very well done. Then comes the music widget, which is really good, just like last year with that nice animation when you're playing the song, followed by Samsung's smart options. Now this is completely customizable, so you can rearrange the order however you like. Now the other visual change is with the brand new app drawer look. So first up we have the search bar which is now at the bottom making it quite a bit reachable with one hand. It's a proper one UI execution. You now also get vertical app drawer for the first time I believe. So you only get this if you sort the icons alphabetically. So if you have it in custom order the app drawer will remain horizontal like it is by default. So now you have the option to choose horizontal or vertical depending on your liking. The other big visual change is in the multitasking tray. It is now having a different animation, which is, by the way, very, very smooth. I know this is just the beta one, but in my testing, this has been really, really buttery smooth. Let me know what you think about this new animation style in the comments below. Now, taking a look at the lock screen, the biggest addition is the now bar, which actually looks really, really good. Uh, this is the music animation playing right now, but it can actually showcase a number of different applications it's kind of like live activity so anything that is ongoing live on your phone it's gonna show up here with a very nice animation system to it speaking of animation Samsung also updated the brand new charging animation which looks really really clean honestly they have done it very very clean I really like it let me know what you think about it in the comments below now there's also a new charging animation for the status bar battery icon which is by the way changed as well it is also further tweaked to look more premium. If we step back and go to the lock screen again, we now get a new customization option, which is called Suggest. When you click on Suggest, Samsung is going to give you some nice setup for your lock screen, three to be precise. If you don't like these, you can keep suggesting again until you find your look. And honestly, it's definitely a very nice addition. Also, this is something we had on Chinese manufacturers for quite some time, but you can now have larger folders on the One UI 7.0. You can shrink it or make it larger depending on how you want the look. You also get more refined, prettier looking widget setup, which is again in line with Samsung's new icons. It looks very colorful and something that we didn't have before compared to the previous One UI 6.1. I genuinely really like the new widgets look. Now moving on to the brand new camera UI. With One UI 7.0 camera, you now have all of your settings that were used to be on the top right at the bottom. So it's truly one-handed experience. You don't have to do any hand gymnastics anymore. Now you can easily change your timer, flash, or aspect ratio, or megapixel count, which is something that I used to tweak all the time. Now just by the reach of my thumb. And this is true with all the other settings as well. Everything that was used to be on the top is now easily accessible down at the bottom. Now you still get some key options on the top, which is essential when you're using the phone in a landscape orientation. So you can easily access these with your other hand. Now, while we're talking about all the new features, it is important to highlight that this is a beta, official beta. So most people shouldn't be installing this on their main device. I've experienced some bugs, but this was by far the weirdest bug I had where half of the screen kind of became unstable until I had to restart my device. So yeah, for most people, I don't recommend you to install this, especially on your primary Samsung device. So 
be sure to wait for the official update once it roll out in January. Okay, moving on to the next feature, we now get a new collage option with the gallery application. So you can select different photos and then get a built in collage options. There's actually a lot of options to choose from right with the default gallery app. Now, what about Bixby? Well, the Bixby does get a new animation, which gives you kind of a hope that is much smarter, but at the moment, it is not. It's still pretty much the old Bixby when it comes to smartness is concerned. So it's not like having ChatGPT level smartness or Google's Gemini. We still have to wait for Samsung to bring more updates in the future for Bixby. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that I saw the Galaxy S25 mention. And yes, in the camera share option, which is basically an option that lets you use your Galaxy camera as a webcam for your Windows laptop, this option is not present with One UI 7.0. And if you notice the demonstration graphics for this, you can see that it says Galaxy S25 instead of the S24 pretty much confirming if you already had some doubts that we are indeed getting the S25 series in January very, very soon. You also get storage share, which allows you to share your storage with Galaxy Book uh, laptop pretty easily. Now, since One US 7.0 is based on Google's latest Android 15 version, Samsung has improved their security under the hood even better than before. Now, last but not the least, you can now set group alarms in the default clock application. So if you used to set up different alarms on a certain date, you can now group them and uh, rename them how you want and have a more of a consistent, clean experience. So yeah, it's been 24 hours using the One UI 7.0 on my Galaxy S24 Ultra. Like I said, there have been some bugs here and there. Luckily, I haven't noticed any crazy battery drain, so things are still looking mostly stable when it comes to batteries concerned, but still, I wouldn't recommend anyone to install this on their primary device because of all the bugs. All in all, I have to say Samsung is off to a fantastic start with the One UI 7.0. I know there's going to be a lot more AI related features coming in as well. This is just the beginning, but these were some of the best and favorite features of the One UI 7.0. Let me know which feature is your favorite in the comments section below. Subscribe if you're new here. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.